Hello and welcome to lesson one of our 10 lesson comprehensive course on how to play the drums with myself, Chris Mansbridge, and my co-host, Mr. Kev Hickman. You've chosen very wisely. Uh, the drums are an amazing instrument. They're great. Uh, they're big, loud, shiny. Um, what does a drummer do? We are the backbone of the music. We are the pulse. What we're playing is making people dancing. We're gluing the whole band together. It's a very, very important job in the band. So it's no wonder you wanted to give it a go. So what we're going to be learning in these 10 lessons? Well, we're going to be giving you everything you need to know to get started. Um, so we're going to be talking about what are the drums, how we hit the drums, uh, getting playing some basic beats uh, with the all important beats and rhythms, uh, learning about rudiments, so the very sort of fundamentals of drumming and, and how they help us get um, around the kit and help us get faster and more articulate. Uh, then we're going to be talking about fills, so all the blah, 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 blah stuff that goes around the toms and everything in between. The end goal here is to be able to use everything we're learning and get you playing over a backing track, which is the fun part, playing to music is why we're drummers. So let's go from the very beginning. We've got this wonderful Natal drum kit in front of us here and Peisty cymbals. Um, you're looking at it going, what is all of this stuff? So we're going to start off learning what all of these drums are called. because There's plenty of them. First of all, we're going to start off from the ground. We're going to be looking at the bass drum, right? It's down there on the floor. It's the biggest drum. It sits on the floor down in the basement. The base of something is also the, the bottom of it, so it's easy to remember the bass drum. You might also have heard someone uh, call this a uh, kick drum exactly the same thing, but we'll stick with bass drum for clarity in, in, the, in the course. So this is my right foot playing the bass drum pedal here. Um, so it sounds like this. It's a big meaty low sound, we love it. So if we look down here at my foot, you can see that I've got my heel elevated. So I'm not playing what's called flat footed on the bass drum pedal here. We can use that technique. It's important to stress that that's not wrong. But as we get faster and we progress, we're gonna probably gonna need to be able to slide into this technique. So it's worth mentioning from the start. You can see that my heel is elevated. So my heel is not resting on the heel plate. I've lifted it up. And when I'm playing, I'm gonna be using a combination of my ankle, my ankle joint, and the weight of my leg. So as you can see, I'm dropping my leg, but I'm also using my ankle. Um, so if you imagine you were trying to change a light bulb and you have to get higher, you're going to push yourself up. You're going to be using that muscle in your leg and the combination of your, of, of your, um, your larger muscles in your calf and in your thigh as well. As we're playing, you might find that you get tired in some areas of your leg. That's, that's normal because you're using new muscles and you're using them a lot. Um, so don't worry about that. You're going to get big and strong playing the drums. You're going to be working on different muscle groups. So yeah, um, that's a good thing. Now we're going to be looking over at my left foot here. Um, that is playing the hi-hat or the hi-hat cymbals. Um, so as you can see of the hi-hats, we have a pair of cymbals. So we've got a top cymbal and a bottom cymbal. These cymbals are brought together by adding pressure on my left foot. So if we take a look at my left foot, we've got the ability to bring the cymbals together and then release them. So we've got the ability to get a range of sounds out of the hi-hat. So if we close the cymbals, add some pressure with the foot, we've got the closed sound. If we release the pressure entirely, we've got a big open washy trashy sound. I can stop all of that with my foot. And we've got the ability to play uh, a combination of those two sounds, which we'll obviously work on as we go through the course. As an example, So that's the hi-hat for you. So early days, we're probably just going to want to keep the hi-hat closed. So we'll just keep the pressure of the, uh, the left foot on there for now. OK, so that's the feet. We've got both feet covered there. We're going to be looking at the, uh, the one that's between your knees here, the snare drum. OK, so um, it's called the snare drum because if you feel underneath your snare drum, there are some wires that are stretched across the underside. And that is the sound that's creating this very sharp crack when we hit it. Pretty loud, pretty vicious. Uh, we've got the ability to turn those snares off as well. 
most of the time we're going to be playing with them on. There's our snare drum. We're going to move on to these guys. So these are called the Toms. We've got a friend called Tom, love him or hate him. We can visualize his face on each drum and you're going to be hitting him in the face every time, but at least you remember what they're called. So we've got the Tom Toms. So as you can see, they go up in size. Now, general science, we've got the smaller drums are going to create a higher pitch and as they get bigger, they're going to create a lower pitch. We've got high, medium, and low. So high Tom, medium Tom, and the low tom, which is sometimes called the floor tom because it's sat on the floor and it's got legs. Nice meaty low sound there. So in sequence, high, medium, low. Lovely. You might also hear these referenced as tom one, tom two, and tom three. So that will just go from left to right. So high, medium, low, one, two, three, same thing, okay? So there are our tom toms. So, so far, we've got our bass drum, snare drum, a hi-hat, and our toms. Let's talk more cymbals. So we have got, over on this side, the crash cymbal. So let's hear it. Lovely, cool. Uh, over on this side, we've got the ride cymbal. So this tends to be the largest cymbal on the kit. We've got a range of sounds we can get our ride cymbal. We're going to play the face of the cymbal, which is this part here. We've also got the bell of the cymbal, which makes a very sort of piercing sound. And we can just give it a good thwack on the edge, on the bow of the cymbal. So we've got a big range of sounds we can uh, get out of our ride cymbal. So, it's important to, st to stress now, we've also got all of these other parts of the kit, um, various effect cymbals. Um, now, if you're playing a big stadium rock gig, you're gonna have way more drums and cymbals. You might have a little, I mean, for instance, check out um, Phil Collins um, playing his drums. He's got loads of drums, he's got loads of cymbals. Uh, some drummers may use less drums um, than we got here. It depends on your musical situation. So depending on what you're playing, you're gonna need more or less sound. So there's no right or wrong setup, but the core elements of your drum kit are gonna include a bass drum, a snare drum, and a hi-hat. Um, and the, the other guys are just sort of uh, added in there. So we've got some effect symbols over here on the left, a little splash symbol here. Something called a Swiss crash. People are like always drawn to this one. It's got loads of holes in it. It looks a bit interesting. So that gives us a way sort of more trashy, darker sound. We've got a second, secondary crash over here. Now a secondary crash over here on the right uh, is just giving us more options. So we've got different sizes. So they're gonna go uh, down in pitch. And this big guy over here, the China symbol, Kind of speaks for itself, that one. So let's, uh, let's check if you are paying attention through that whole thing. So let's start off with this guy. If I play it, see if you can guess what it's called before I say it. So, bass drum, snare drum, Hi-hat. Hi Tom, or Tom one. Medium Tom, or Tom two. Floor Tom. Crash cymbal, and finally, Ride symbol. There is a diagram of the drum kit that comes with the course, so at any point you can always refer back to it um, if you forget. Um, but there we go, that's our drum kit.